Welcome back to the place where we dare to ask, is Walmart a person? And we dare to say, no, not a chance. Don't think so. Not, no, no way. And with that music, it must be time for the good, the bad, and the very, very ugly. Today, our good Congressman Dennis Kucinich, the Democrat from Ohio, who wants the retirement age lowered to 60 for six months. This, he says, is a jobs bill, and he's right. Kucinich, a Democrat from the Cleveland area, says a $15 billion proposal he's floating would create a million jobs for the U.S. economy. It calls for a six-month period during which people can retire by the age of 60. The program would be funded by $10 billion in bailout funds and $5 billion in stimulus funds. It's brilliant. It's uh, much like a program I proposed, uh, an op-ed I wrote some uh, half a year ago called Cash for Geezers. And uh, because it's brilliant, it probably won't get much of a hearing in Congress. But in any case, good on you, Dennis Kucinich, for doing that. The bad stimulus hypocrite Congresswoman McMorris Rogers, who was not invited to the ceremony in her district celebrating the stimulus project. The local newspaper explains that the local congresswoman was not invited to the party by Governor Christine Gregoire. And good on Christine Gregoire for that. Gregoire said, we never thought to ask her since she voted no on the stimulus bill. In true Republican hypocrisy, though, on her website, McMorris Rogers blasts the flawed stimulus as a failed effort to spur job creation, but then issues a press release taking credit for bringing $35 million into her district in stimulus money. Feeling dizzy? And the very, very ugly phone news Glenn Beck, who said at CPAC during his keynote on Saturday, Progressivism is the cancer in America, and it is eating our Constitution. Progressivism is the cancer in America and is eating our Constitution. And it was designed to eat the Constitution, to progress past the Constitution. He further suggested that a liberal minority has hijacked America and said that an economic holocaust is coming. Glenn Beck, ugly, ugly, 